And now for our weekly news segment. Yeah, happy weekend. Hope you have some coffee. I have some water. And uh, let's get into the news section. The first thing that I want to discuss is Mastering the Narrow, which is a very interesting book that you should read. If you're a beginner, advanced, intermediate, you know, if you're just getting into the narrow um, or not, it's just a really good book to read. And uh, I'm really happy to see it trending on Hacker News. It goes in depth about Monero, so you should definitely um, take a look at the book. And then once you read that, I think you should definitely grab a copy of the Monero Standard, uh, which has been written by my friend Stoic. We've been talking about it for over a year now, and in the beginning it was really interesting. Um, we were talking about the book, and um, in like one minute we basically reached the conclusion that such a thing should, should exist, and he's like, um, all right, I'm going to do it. And I said, okay, and he's been working on it. He's been telling me about the progress. Hey, I'm 20% in, 25%, 30%. Man, this is not easy, blah, blah. And uh, besides working like a maniac, he works a lot. Um, he also pulled the book somehow. And uh, I couldn't be happier for him and what he's achieved and what he's done. And I personally can't wait to read the book myself. So um, definitely Monero, uh, Mastering Monero. And then once you're done with that, the Monero Standard. And um, you should be good to go. Um, then I want to discuss the company called Unciphered, which they claim to be able to hack Trezor T wallet. So a lot of people have the Trezor T wallet or the Trezor wallet or Ledger or stuff like that. Um, there's been a bug in 2019 that you know has been has been circulated on on YouTube and other places, and then it got patched. Uh, this one allegedly, the company said that the exploit for the Trezor T is unfixable with firmware updates. And um, <clears throat> they said in order to fix this, Satoshi Labs will have to recall all their products, which they are likely not going to do. And of course, they can't do that, right? Um, and then um, Treasure responded, actually, and they told Coindesk that the attack performed by Uncypher resembled an RDP um, downgrade attack that required physical theft of a device, right? So physically stealing it and then extreme technical knowledge and advanced equipment to execute. So. Not everybody can perform this hack. It's not like, oh my God, now everybody's going to steal everybody's um, 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 cryptos on Trezor. Um, but they also said that they took significant steps to resolve this issue. So we'll see what's going to happen. Are they going to resolve this issue? Is Cypher still going to be able to do the same thing that they have achieved? We should see. Now, I want to discuss something that I really love about the Monero community and is the fact that when we have bugs or issues within Monero, we discuss it openly and we just put it on the table and say, hey, like for example, we had a bug in Monero's um, XMR's GUI CLI decoy selection, allowing chain analysis to guess the real spend with high probability. If the spend is exactly 10 blocks old, it's not severe, but it's still not, <laughs> it's not good. And um, if you click on, on uh, this link, on GitHub, and then you know you can read more details about it, about it. But the severity uh, was high; it's been patched. We just you know discussed it. This is it, blah blah, and boom, now it's patched. You know, so this is a beautiful thing about the Monero community: the fact that we discuss the weaknesses, and then we work on it, we patch it, and we, we just move forward. And then the next time something's gonna happen, we're gonna do the same thing. So really beautiful, and make sure that you update your wallet to the newest version, which is uh, zero point eighteen point two point two. Now, uh, let's talk about a way to not be, um, which is, uh, I'm not going to be able to play this video, actually, because I've been having issues with the uh, sound. Uh, I think last episode, I did also didn't have sound. So, uh, Doug, if you can, or if you want, you can play this video. And then the one with um, uh, New York City Mayor Adam that we'll discuss in a bit. So, uh, basically, <coughs> Laser Eye called Leader has a nervous breakdown on a podcast, and, you know, he calls people... Uh, names and have this and have that which and what Doug uh, wrote please well, let's never let the Monero to be a conference evolve into this or the podcast or you know nothing nothing should be like this if you're ever that angry um, about something you should you know go in a corner relax you know and then think about what you're gonna say um, and for the people that have been to the Monerotopia conference uh, either the one last year or this year you know that it's very relaxed we had people from uh, um, Pirate Chain, uh, Lin, and all these projects. And then it was very relaxed, you know, we discussed, uh, we had a great time together. So, um, yeah, this is definitely something that we don't want to evolve into and something that we just don't want to be part of. 
um because it's not just not good it's not productive um th now i want to get into cbdc's and um we discussed on the past uh in past episodes the fact that india um is pulling away cash from from circulation uh now they pulled the 2000 rupee notes which is going to affect the economy uh, in a bad way it's going to affect people you know it's going to affect everything because it's just easier to transact when you have uh, higher denominations as well in the us we only have 100 dollar bills but in romania we have 200 dollar uh, 200 you know lay our currency uh 500 and it just makes it a lot easier and i think in the us we used to have 500 as well and 1000 at some point but uh, they pull it away oh uh, yeah 2000 is actually not a lot in in rupees the 2000 rupee note is less than 25 dollars but they just want to crack down on cash and private transactions globally of course nobody can know that a cash transaction like existed you know unless they physically watch it so uh, they want to push their CBDC that they're working on, of course, like all the other countries, and they want to push cash. Uh, they want to take cash away from the economy. And then you can read more um, details in this article. Uh, Visa, Microsoft, and other companies are joining the Brazilian CBDC, CBDC pilot. Um, they've been working on it since 2000, since last year, really, and uh, that's when they first publicly publicly announced it. And um, yeah, big companies like Visa, Microsoft, and so on um, are going to be part of their Brazilian CBDC, which is actually going to come um, next month. Yeah, next month. Uh, let's see where they wrote that. June, yeah, in the middle of June. Um, so it's crazy. So CBDCs are coming very, very fast. You know, it's no longer like, oh, once CBDCs are coming or CBDCs this and that, or no, they're not going to come. No, they're coming. All the countries are working on CBDCs. So that's why you should look into Monero if you haven't, you know, take a look, uh, learn about privacy and all these things, because it's not going to be a good future with uh, the CBDC. And the last thing that I want to discuss is this is more pertaining to um, freedom, not necessarily to, you know, CBDCs. Of course, I mean, that ties also in it, but uh, New York City Mayor Adam wants to track and limit household consumption of meat and dairy. Now, we're not going to discuss nutrition, you know, what's good, not eating meat, eating meat, eating red meat, you know, we're, we're not going to discuss that. That's beyond the show. There's many other podcasts and things that you, if you want to learn more about it. But what I'm going to say is that it's very easy for the government to not educate the population and to, and to just put a cage of the things that you can or cannot do and when you try to reach for something they just slap your hand instead of actually educating you like for example we need social media education you know so social media is a great thing you know but a lot of people use it in negative ways and they just brainwash themselves you know and endlessly on tiktok and all these things but on tiktok you can have educational content that you can watch you know instagram you know if you go on my instagram for example i learn things all the time and there's things that actually motivate me and you know i'm just not brainwashing and if i ever get anything um i just you know uh, unfollow or you know I just do something about it so yeah they don't want you to have a higher education because when they educate you about you know facts then if you you know normal human beings are going to make decisions for themselves and they don't want to have that you know they want to basically put you in a safety box you know uh, the government is going to take care of you just like the stimulus checks oh we're going to send you money don't worry you know and um yeah they want to track everything that you do to have you can buy this, you can buy that, and you can't say anything. So this is where we are headed. We are working hard, um, you know, over here to to not have that, of course. Uh, but it's going to require everybody to to be against it. So uh, this was this this week's news section, everybody. If you want to send me links ever uh, to discuss, you can send it on Twitter, um, Telegram, and uh, all the links are in the description. And yeah, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.